everyone in this video you will learn how to solve this problem sin x times cosine x equals to tangent x i saw this problem at internet and i really like it that's why i share it with you firstly from trigonometric identity we know that tangent x equals to sin x over cosine x and let's put it above sin x times cosine x equals to sin x over cosine x then uh, if we multiply both sides of our equation with sin x, cosine x sin x times cosine squared x should equal to sin x then sin x times cosine squared x minus sin x equals to zero and sin x are same that's why we may take it out of the brackets it sin x times cosine squared x minus one equals to zero for the product to be equal to zero at least one of multi multiples must be equal to zero and sine x equals to zero and cosine squared x minus one equals to zero sine x equals to zero we have rectangular coordinate system this is sine axis and this is cosine axis and we have unit circle at here sine to be equal zero at these dots these dots are zero pi then two pi three pi or something then x equals to pi n and m belongs to integers and cosine squared x minus one equals to zero cosine squared x minus one equals to zero uh, cosine squared x equals to one and we know that cosine squared x equals to one plus cosine two x over two equals to one one plus cosine two x equals to two and cosine two x equals to one then two x equals to cosine two x equals to one cosine one should equal to one cosine one is this point zero plus two pi n equals to two pi n and m belongs to integers and x equals to pi n m belongs to integers we have two solution and they are same x equals to pi n n belongs to integers and x equals to pi n n belongs to integers and our answer is pi n n belongs to integers thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel and thumbs up my video